Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. History and Prophecy, Baruch and Additions to Daniel Greetings, dedicated scholars and seekers of wisdom. As we steadily traverse the vast topographies of biblical literature, these episodes bring forth the intricate dance between history and prophecy. Our compass today directs us towards the book of Baruch, and the enigmatic additions to Daniel. Both these works are not just texts, but time machines, transporting us to the moment of deep introspection, faith challenges, and the ultimate affirmation of divine justice. Diving into the historical realm with the book of Baruch, one cannot help but be enveloped by the raw emotions this text evokes. The Babylonian exile wasn't just a relocation. It was a profound spiritual and cultural rupture for the Jewish community. This exile and its aftermath form the crucible within which the Book of Baruch was forged. Baruch is more than just a historical chronicler. As the scribe of the venerable prophet Jeremiah, he held a front row seat to the unfolding events and the internal spiritual turnings of his time. His writings beautifully mesh history with lamentations, mirroring the collective heartache of a displaced community and their resilient hope. The narrative within Baruch is like a river with multiple tributaries. There's the historical stream which recounts the events leading up to the exile. It serves as a reflective mirror, allowing the community to introspect on their actions and their consequences. But intertwined with these streams is the lamentation current. The sheer weight of collective sorrow, the yearning for their homeland, and the search for the meaning in their suffering is palpable. Yet, amidst this lamentation, there's a noticeable undertone of wisdom. This wisdom doesn't come from human intellect but from an acknowledgement of divine justice. The climax of Baruch's narrative is the turning towards repentance. Recognizing their transgressions, there's a collective plea for mercy, acknowledging the covenant with God, and the unwavering belief in eventual redemption. The horizon of this book is not darkened by despair, but illuminated by hope. As we transition from mournful yet hopeful corridors of Baruch, we enter the enigmatic realm of the additions to Daniel. Unlike a linear narrative, these are episodic additions, yet each episode 
is a gem of wisdom and reflection. The prayer of Azariah and the song of three young men plunge us directly into the fiery furnace. However, the physical fire is but a backdrop into the inner flames of unwavering faith when faced with the prospect of death. Instead of a plea for mercy, we hear songs of praise, affirming the eternal glory of God. Susanna's story is a poignant reflection on the nature of truth. Amidst the tangles of deceit, lust, and corruptions, stands Susanna a symbol of purity, righteousness, and unwavering faith. Her tale is not just a personal trial, but echoes the trial of many who've been falsely accused and persecuted. Yet, her story ends not in tragedy but in the triumph vindication of innocence, a testament to the belief that divine justice prevails. Then there's the tales of Bell and the dragon. Here, Daniel emerged not just as a prophet, but as a detective an expositor of the seat, with wisdom as his tool and truth as his compass, he unveils the falsehood of idol worship and the cunning priests. These tales, while entertaining, carry a profound message. Truth, however concealed, will always shine forth. Baruch and the addition to Daniel, though distinct, have a harmonic resonance. They both beckon us to journey toward history, experience prophecy, and recognize the eternal dance between divine justice and human agency. In the landscape of biblical literature, this work stands as sentinel towers, reminding us of the trials and tribulations of our ancestors, their enduring faith and ever-present hand of divine justice. As we prepare to dive deeper in our upcoming sessions, I encourage you to ponder on these narratives, not as an ancient tales, but as a mirror reflecting timeless human experiences, dilemmas, and the underlying flame of faith. May this text serves as your compass, guiding you towards wisdom, introspection, and a deeper understanding of divine narrative. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series, Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us on this profound journey through history and prophecy. Today we immersed ourselves in the book of Baruch and explored the additions to Daniel, texts that have stood the test of time to speak powerfully into our lives today. We've navigated through the Baruch lamentation and the unshakable faith demonstrated in the fiery furnace. These stories aren't just ancient history. They are a testament to the resilience and hope that can guide us in our modern struggles. Join us for the next episode where we will examine the Maccabees 
fierce battle to preserve their cultural identity. Download and engage with the episode beforehand to enrich our next discussion. And then, keep the conversation going. Reflect on how we can be an agent of faith and wisdom in our community. Thank you for being an integral part of this series. Good day and stay inspired.